and see when you and today I'm going to go over a income property walkthrough, not only the first year projection, but the five year projection. And you will see the tremendous benefits owning a income property, especially when you buy in a good market, when you buy in a market that has strong population growth, strong job growth, or in the sun built area is affordable property. It cash flows. And finally, above all, you buy from a team of a local turnkey provider in that market, in that neighborhood that have full, credible, professional property management and the entire team to help you manage your property, take care of your property over time. All right. With that said, let's dive into numbers because again, when you buy, when you analyze a property, when you look at everything, you have to look at a big picture, not just the first year cash flow. Cash flow is but one component of a benefit of a property because an income property is the world's greatest multi-dimensional real estate asset class. It's the most tax favored asset class because you get five dimensions. Those five are the uh, passive income, the rental income growth. You can increase your rent in line with inflation. So, so your cash flow and your rental income systematically goes up. Who knows? Three to five percent typically on historical basis. Then you get appreciation potential long term. If when you own a house, any kind of property, it all depends where, but on historical basis, you, you could get anywhere from three to five to seven percent annual appreciation gain. And then the third way is tax benefits. So much tax benefit. You can get depreciation write off, paper loss deductions. They can reduce your income subject to taxation. You can get into cost segregation, bonus depreciation. Again, you can become a real estate professional status, tax status, where you can offset your active income against, against your passive losses of owning real estate. It's so much more than that. All right. And finally, you get to leverage through an amazing 30 year fixed rate mortgage. And no other country in the world have this type of amazing mortgages. Your debt, if you manage it wisely, your mortgage debt will make you wealthy long term. Just keep that in mind. And finally, when your renter, the gross rent that you're collecting every single month, your renter is going to make you rich. The gross rent should exceed the total of the, your mortgage payment on a subject property and or the debt service on a monthly basis. What are the services? Your property taxes, your property insurance, your property management fee, your three to five percent vacancy and three to five percent of maintenance costs. All those are factored in and at the end of the month, you should have some kind of positive cash flow. It may not be as high as before the pandemic, that's obvious, but over time, it's not all about cash flow. It's about total terms. I'm going to share that with you right now. So I'm going to use a sample property here in Florida, something that, which is the, in my opinion, is the best place to buy an income property, especially a single family home, especially new constructions as the picket here. So let's go over the numbers. I don't want to bore you. I'm going to try not to. I'm just going to put it in a high level. Bear with me. It's, this will be a short video. All right. The property sells for 264900 Right now, you put 25% down payment. There's a builder. I know I'm showing 5.8% mortgage rate, 30 year fixed rate mortgage, but it could be anything for sure. Here is a time the builder have it, an amazing incentive where they can buy down the rate down to around 4.99% 30 year fixed rate mortgage. And it's an amazing incentive. Of course, you some some builders, they work with the investors and they give the builders two years property management free. They give you a 2% closing cost reimbursement. There will be additional $4,000 of a recurring cost to, to do other things associated with the loan. So amazing building incentives that's happening right now for great real estate investors like you guys. All right, so let's move on. So your down payment here is almost 80 grand. And then the monthly rent is very conservative. The rental market is very strong because we have a historic low inventory supply nationwide and into up demand, even giving this elevated uh, mortgage rate that we are facing in this challenging uh, economy and housing market. But this growth rate is very uh, conservative, around $1,700 monthly. And then minus um, typical taxes, insurance, all those kind of things we talked about. And at the end of the day, we still have cash flow almost a couple hundred dollars 
it'll be more because this numbers are based on this prior mortgage rate. But if you get a 4.9% mortgage rate and those other incentives I talked about, your monthly net cash flow beginning will be at least $150 more than here. So it could be around $300 or slightly more monthly net cash flow. Again, cash flow is just one component. We'll talk more about that momentarily. But suffice to say that all the numbers look good. I'm not going to go over the numbers, 6% cap rate. All those numbers are really meet and exceed the numerical benchmark for real estate investors. All right. So here we go. Got that will get first year projection and the beauty of owning real estate long term. You can have the patience to absorb the first few years of a seemingly not to your expectation, but long term, this is just a projection. Okay. No one knows what's going to happen, but we are using this based on you know, best projection, best estimates, based on past historical benchmark as well. It's just a theoretical, numerical discussion. So we can understand the big picture. Of course, nobody can predict the future, but that annual goals when you're charging year one, obviously you would they, you, you can increase the rent, right? On an annual basis, if at all possible, not sometimes not annual, but that's your expectation. So our first year goes rent is our level one, 20 grand, year two, 21. 154, year three, 22,000 annual gross rent, and so forth and so on. It wouldn't go well beyond five years, but for the sake of this short video, I can only project five years so you can see the big picture. And expenses, I know the property taxes could go up systematically just a little bit, not that much. Property taxes are not expected to go any higher than the gross rent increase on an annual basis. All right. So insurance, same thing, to a little bit increase per year. That's not talking inflation, right? Everything affects inflation. Anything we breathe, live, and work, whatever. You get a two year property management fee in this particular case with this particular builder here in Ocala. Those we work with on behalf of our investors. So you get some additional benefits. But when the property management fee kicks in, they typically charge you 8% of the gross bonds here in that situation. Of course, on new construction, your maintenance is very minimal, obviously. We get some warranties as well. One year appliance warranty, five year cosmetic warranty, and 10 year roof warranty, a foundation warranty. You have to ask the builder for that. There's no HOA, nothing like that. So again, the operating income is right here. You know what that means? I'll show you what that means. See, you have the operating income, you should gross rent minus your monthly expenses and debt service, excluding your mortgage. See it right here? Net operating income. Then you minus the mortgage, 11.75 per month, then is your net monthly cash flow. Get it? Plus we factor in the principal reduction, the numerical benefit associated with the principal reduction on an annual basis, monthly basis, and a first year projection of $11 per month, $13,000 per year based on 5% listed appreciation rate in this particular market, which is, uh, you know, very realistic. All right. And she asked all the other things uh, on the board it and read about it. So on your own, so with that operating income minus your mortgage is your annual net cash flow for the first year, second year, a uh, little bit reduced when your property management get kicked in this particular case, not all case, anybody can pay your property management fee. It all depends what property you buy, what market, which market, which Turkey provider in other areas of the country, they give you different kind of incentives, if at all. all right. So cash flow are expected to increase over time. That's the beauty of it. Of course, you add on the appreciation, equals gross income on an annual basis. Everything's increasing. That's the bottom line, all right? So this is what else. Then low analysis, your market value today based on the purchase price. At 5%, I know you're not going to get a static, robotic 5% appreciation every year. You can only project the future. No one have a crystal ball, but based on this theoretical projection, a five year appreciation, the magic of compound interest, Albert Einstein calls it the eighth wonder of the world. Your market value will increase compound, right? Which is important. A lot of people do not understand that. So, second year, based on 5% appreciation, look. Your profit increase from 264 to 278 for 30 years, 292, 306. You see the benefit you're getting, you, you stay the course long term, not worry about all these negative headlines and volatilities and housing crash or this BSW you hear from those negative headlines and all those stupid housing porn crash roles out there that are destroying people's thinking. All these negative headlines just bloom and bloom everywhere. The world is coming to an end. The world is exploding, whatever. So your market value on an annual basis as it increases minus your loan balance. By the way, your loan balance is systematic being 
paid out by your tenant, right? It's amazing. Your tenant is doing all the hard work, like doing all the heavy lifting for you. I mean, you just sit tight, you get your mailbox money every single month. So you actually continue to grow, see? Market value minus loan balance, market value increases, your loan balance decreases. So your equity increases over time. And then LTV is an important ratio. When you achieve this type of low to value ratio, 70% or less, ideally, you could cash out refinance. See the numbers? You, you can really plan ahead. If you know the projection numbers for your property. So you can, the, the exit strategy, you could potentially one exit strategy for cash out refinance, this type of money, tax free loan. When you cash for refinance against your own equity, there's no tax consequences. By the way, consult your tax advisor. I'm not a tax advisor. All right. Just want to be this a disclaimer. But look, every year, your equity growth and loan balance gets paid down systematically by the tenant. Then your equity increases. This is the amount of true potential cash out refinance uh, money equity that you can borrow against your property and buy what? Buy more property. That's how you leverage. This is what I call the domino effect. When you invest in real estate, when you buy rental property, over time, long term, it is a domino effect. That's what I'm giving you. Increasing cash flow, loan balance being paid down, equity growth increasing. You, then you want to stay clear cut. When, if you want to cash refinance to buy more property, you buy one or two more properties of this leverage of this equity. Isn't it amazing? If you hold the longer, you have more equity. So the, if you, that's what you want to do, you don't have to cash out refinance. You can keep the property forever. Who knows, right? There's so many extra strategies and sales analysis. If you were selling property, you can also project, you know, or equity minus posting cost equals the proceeds after your sale. Then that's your potential net profit after you sale and pay your taxes, whatever, or even your 1031 tax rates before exchange. If you sell your rental property, you know, all the uh, capital gains or deferred if you buy a placement income property at equal or higher value. So a lot of people does 1031 tax before exchange. But anyway, so many extra strategies, but at the end of the day, you got to take action. You got to take that first step to buy your first rental property, especially when you are newbies. But here are all the numerical formulas. I know this is quite technical. Some of you may not get it, but here are the numerical ratios. At some point in time, you will learn and you should learn what all these formulas, formulas means. Look, this is not rocket scientists. Okay. Anybody can learn this. I, I think so. Again, I don't want to bore you with details, but this is a big picture. When you buy property for cash flow, don't dwell on the first year allegedly low cash flow. You find property for long term gain or total returns. I just shared with you the amazing aspects of total dimension of so many ways you can make money with income properties. I, I bet you very few people present rental property in a way I just presented to you. I think picture all the uh, conceptual information, all the benefits you can gain by owning one or more income properties. So at some point in time, you can achieve financial freedom through real estate for yourself and your family. Hopefully you get a lot of values in this presentation. My name is Si Wing Yi and please smash the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so already. Tell others about my organization, refer friends and everybody to my channel. And finally, quickly visit my website on a daily basis. You will receive free real estate education through your email about all type things that we discuss about. Join our real estate community of several thousand members so we can uh, all we learn together, our network is your net worth. Be a part of a network of, uh, and then potentially have the ability to take action by preparing the same type of property that I just showed you. So you can increase, you can create wealth, long-term wealth through prudent investing in the right market, turn people's others, right sources, trusted team to help you achieve your wealth. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'll see you next time. This is see what you need. Bye-bye.